some dude beat up this guy's daughter and now he's running around with that sign in front of the county jail where the thug is incarcerated and this dude is pissed off. Now well, what's going on with Daryl? He beat my daughter up last week. Give her two black eyes, got away with it. Now they've got him up on robbery charges and stuff, so I'm just trying to help him a little bit. Oh, well, what does he live here? He's in jail. Oh. He's, he's got his bunk buddies up there. I'm sure if I don't like people to do that. So hopefully someone can return the favor. My daughter's 33 and he beat the hell out of her. What, uh, what, when, did, when did this happen? Last week. Oh, geez. He's, a, he, he's out on the street, he's a thug, but when I see him in front of the judge here last week, he had puppy eyes. He did. He gave well, me a break and he's under there for robbery. He robbed this drug dealer. Can I can, can I see your your uh your uh sign here? You sure can. You take a picture of it. Want to? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm can, you, can you bring it over? I'm, I'm done carrying it. Yeah. What was, was this guy like your son-in-law? Yeah, he married my daughter. Oh, jeez. And he's been in and out of prison. He's 25. And he's been in jail many times. What, did you let, not like him from the outset? I didn't like him from the word go, man. Anybody beats my daughter up is my mortal enemy for the rest of my life. Well, I can't blame you there. Did, uh, yeah, was, he, does he have a hard time holding down a job and he all never, that kind of thing? He does work. He deals in drugs. Oh, my God. You got kids? Uh, no, I'm not fortunate enough to have kids. Yeah, I know, man. You're, you're kind of lucky in a way. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I hope things work out for you. What's your name, please? Daryl. Daryl, right on. I'm, I'm, history I'm real protective of this daughter. My daughter, he beat up because I lost a daughter two years ago. Oh, no. What happened? And she was, I don't really want to say. Oh. She passed away two years ago. And I'm real protective of my daughter. And this is the very least I can do for this guy up here. Hopefully, somebody's in the jail sees this and they can beat his ass for him. Just justice. I can't reach him right now. He's up there. Yeah, well, we're right across the street from the jail, right. so. And, and I bet there's probably been 50 people have seen this. Hopefully, they go, hey, look out the road there. You're, you're famous now. Yeah. I always make people famous over me. Well, you're certainly, uh, you certainly have a lot of spirit. I, so. care, I care about my daughter. Right on. You know, she called me and said, Daddy, beat out of me and had two black eyes. And, and when I seen that, I thought, he, he, then he got arrested. And I thought, I got to get him. I mean, I can't reach him. But there's guys in there that can, right? I'm not, I'm not condoning violence, but, you know, hey, it, it, it's free speech. Yeah. I always, always like my constitutional rights, right? All right, well, I, hey. I exercise them really well. All right, well, hey, best of luck to you. Oh, thanks, man. Well, you know, not good luck to him up there. Hope, I'm going to leave this here, too, so. Okay. Hey, you know, hey, hey, hey Dad's got to do what they got to do, man. This world's screwed up. We got we to let these thugs know they can't be beating our kids up. Well, all right, well, hey, you Peace take care man. of yourself. God bless you. Hey, exercise your constitutional rights or they're going to be taken away. Right on. See ya. See you, buddy. Adios. Nice car, buddy. So now the father of the girl that got beat up by this guy, he's running around in front of the jail where the criminal is incarcerated, waving a sign around that can easily be seen from the jail cell windows, calling the guy a snitch. So the, fra the father's strategy is to convince the fellow incarcerees that the guy in question is in fact a snitch. And uh, that probably isn't a real good image in the Monroe County Jail.